Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now, you've seen me review Synology products before. This is one of their brand new products. It's the DS213 Air. Now, before I tell you the really exciting feature on this product, I'm gonna cover off some of the main features and also obviously unbox it and give you a little guide around it. So first of all, these are the main sort of features. File sharing, data protection, mobile support, web server, photo sharing, surveillance server, backup, print server, mail server, and media server. So they're just sort of the main, main features. And what the disk station does is it's a network attached storage device. So you will store all of your files on here and then you can access them on different devices. So you could access them maybe via a laptop or a desktop or a tablet, etc. But the DS213 Air also has a really sort of unique uh, feature up its sleeve as well. But before I tell you about that, let's get this unboxed and see what we get inside. Now, Synology products are really nicely presented. First of all, the, the product packaging, nice and colorful, but they keep everything really simple inside. So first segment, as always, is the power cable. So we're in the UK, so this is a three pin UK power cable. Then underneath that section, we have a little box of goodies. Now the box of goodies, again, always very well presented. We open this up and we've got like a, a welcome pack. And inside this welcome pack, there's also a disc with a quick installation guide on it. And then we get a ethernet cable. This is for connecting it to your router. And then we get a power brick. So this is just a standard power brick. And then we get some little packs of screws and they're for mounting hard drives inside the unit. Now you buy the DS213 Air without any hard drives in it. And then you populate it with whatever capacity hard drive you're gonna be using. Now the two in the 213 name, so the 213 Air, the two gives you a clue that this will accept two three and a half inch or two and a half inch serial ATA drives. Let's pop all of that stuff out of the way and we get into the main product itself. So this is the main unit. Again, very nicely presented. We just open it up like so. And it's all nicely packaged up. So let's just unwrap this. And I like to show you this, how you're gonna experience it when you unwrap it. And it's just really nicely done. Synology have really thought out how they present their products. So we will unwrap this. Da, 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 da. And here we go. So this is the DS213 Air. Look at that. Looks really, really nice. It's a nice solid built unit. So let's give you a close up look at this so you can see what it looks like. So we start off with a look around the back of the unit and this is where some of the connectivity happens. Now, first of all, we've got like a fan here and that's to keep everything nice and cool inside. It's not too loud, but I would suggest if you're using a NAS device to put it in another room to your main work area. And then just underneath the fan, we've got a little sort of a, a button here for wireless on and off. And that's one of the really exciting features about the DS213 Air and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Then we've got a couple of USB 3 ports. We've got a gigabit LAN port. We've also got an input here for the power adapter, a little reset switch, and also a little sort of um, portion here where we can tether this to a desk. So that's it round the back. So that's all of the main connections. Now on the two sides, we've just got the Synology logo. And then round on the front, we've got some buttons and LEDs. Now the main button here is the power on off button. Then we've got a status light, a WLAN light, and disc one and two activity lights as well. So that's all the sort of main outer features. Now to gain access to the device, I normally just lay it on the side like this, and then we can just sort of slide the top and bottom portions apart. Come apart very, very easily. I'll just take this bottom portion off, and then you can see what it looks like inside. Now inside the unit, you can see here, we've got areas here for two three and a half inch serial ATA drives. Now, if you used an adapter, you could put in two and a half inch 
uh, solid state drives for example if you wanted to but it's kitted out ready to go for three and a half inch drives and you just slot them in locate screws in these side holes here and the actual serial ata connection is sort of self-locating so when you slot the drive in it self-locates into the connector so you're then you're sort of good to go and then it's just a simple matter of reassembling the casing which again very easy to do slots into place and then you just locate a couple of screws in the back just to pull that nice and neatly into place now i mentioned a couple of times about wireless we've got this button on the back for switching the wireless on and off and that is where this device really differs from other Synology devices now I'm going to tell you about these features now and you'll see why this might well be the NAS device for you so I keep waffling on about this exciting feature in the Synology DS213 Air and the Air portion of that product name should really let you know what I keep going on about this has wireless built in. So that is a big, big innovation in NAS devices. I think actually it's a first for a NAS device to have like a wireless hotspot built into it. And it opens up a whole new arena of ways you could use this. Normally when you've got a NAS, you have to connect it to your router. And if it's a wireless router, you can access your files wirelessly. With this one, if you've got a standard router, so a non-wireless router, connect this in via the ethernet cable, and then you can add a wireless hotspot to your setup and you can access all your files wirelessly. So that's the first way you can use this. The second way you can use it is as, is as a standalone device. So perhaps you've just got a games console and a tablet in your household. Well, if you plug this into the mains, set up the wireless hotspot, and then you can access all the files on here on your games console or on your tablet without even having to plug this into a router. How cool is that? That's a really nice feature. And then the third way you can use this, which you couldn't do with a standard NAS, is perhaps you've got a hard to reach location in your house or your building and you don't want to run an ethernet cable out there. Well, if you've got a wireless router in your setup, you can connect this wirelessly to your router without even cabling it in and add it as another hotspot. And then you can access all the files again that are stored on here. So it adds a lot of features to the normal sort of NAS setup that you would get if you bought a different model to the DS213 Air. But it also has all the standard features as well. You can put two disks in here, so you could have a lot of storage. If you put two two terabyte drives in here, you could have four terabytes of storage or you could add some data redundancy and set those up in a RAID configuration, so one drive backed up to the other. You've also got things like file server, mail server, even surveillance station, and these apps add so much functionality to the Synology NAS range. What I really love about the Synology products, and I know I say this in a lot of my videos, is the software that comes supplied. Disk Station Manager makes it so easy to set up and manage and also to add new features to these devices. Just one example of this is Surveillance Station. You can add an IP camera to your network and then have that camera record the surveillance footage to the drives in your Synology NAS. A really useful feature. Maybe not something that everyone will use, but the fact that it's there really does add great value to these devices. So this is the DS213R. I think it's well worth considering if you're thinking about purchasing a NAS device. Store all your devices on one central location and make it easy for everyone to access them. You can obviously limit access, but everyone that you grant access to can then access those files. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.